What is a fair way to deal with an overbooked fly? In answering this question, you should provide a pseudocode algorithm that addresses the issues that might arise when boarding passengers on an overbooked flight. To add some context, overbooking is a practice where the airline sells more tickets than available seats, based on the knowledge and hopes that not all the passengers will show up for the flight. As impartial air hosts, you want to ensure that the people that come for the flight have an equal chance to travel successfully. You know the number of seats on the plane, but unfortunately, you do not have information on how overbooked the flight is. For this problem, we ignore the concept of checking in, since that impacts which passengers we admit on the aircraft. The most intuitive thing we could do is create a waiting room. Imagine a scenario where the plane has four seats, but you have no information about the total number of passengers. In this case, this total is 10. We ask all our passengers to wait there. When the departure time comes, we select and board the lucky ones. The strategy is fair if we employ a uniform random selection of four passengers out of the 10. However, it has some downsides. We might not have enough space for everyone, and everyone must wait until the end in our crowded waiting room, wasting their time. If we could guarantee that everyone has the same chance of boarding the plane and, at the same time, reduce the number of people waiting to know if they will be boarding, that's an objectively better situation for everyone. A different intuitive approach would be to just use first come, first served. However, this does not achieve impartiality. All passengers after our fifth have a zero probability of boarding. Let's simplify things. We can board the first four passengers without guaranteeing them a place on the plane. Now consider we only have a fifth passenger. We cannot simply accept or refuse him. If we knew in advance that there would be five total passengers, we should have given him a four out of five probability of boarding the plane. Can we ensure a four out of five chance for him? For example, we randomly select an integer between one and five. Then consider a success, any number strictly less than five. If we hit the success, where do we put him? Everyone in the plane should have a retroactive probability of success of 4 out of 5. We do not give advantages to early arrivals. So, we want to equally reduce their chances of being on the plane if we want to board the fifth passenger. If the random number was 1, replace the first passenger with a newcomer. If the number was 2, replace the second, and so on. Clearly, 1, 2, 3, and 4 all have equal choice chances so the impact on the already boarded passengers is identical. We can now consider the fifth passenger process. When the sixth arrives, the plane will have four, each with a four out of five chance of being here. We can intuit the solution now. We merely need to prove that this method ensures that the boarded passengers experience the expected change in probability. Before we demonstrate that the idea presented produces the fairness we expect, let us define it more formally. Initialize an empty reservoir or waiting room of size k and fill it with the first k elements from the input stream. For each member xi in the input stream, uniformly generate a random number j from the set 1 to i. If j is less than or equal than k, replace the jth element in the reservoir with xi. Otherwise, discard xi. The pool now contains k elements randomly chosen from the stream. This efficient algorithm, known as reservoir sampling, is widely used in data science for uniformly and randomly select a fixed subsample from a data stream. Typically, we expect that the data is large enough that the list doesn't fit into the main memory. The proof works by induction on n greater than k, so our base case is n equals k plus 1. The induction hypothesis is that all elements in the reservoir have the same probability of being there as the nth element when this element is processed. First k elements are already in the reservoir. k plus 1th element has a chance of k divided by k plus 1 of being chosen. The probability we replace a particular element in the reservoir is 1 divided by k plus 1, meaning it has a probability of remaining of k divided by k plus 1. All k plus 1 elements have an equal chance of being in the reservoir.
For the inductive step, we assume we have equal chances for all n items seen so far. Hence, the probability that a particular member of the stream so far is in the reservoir is k divided by n. Processing the n plus 1 element does the following. An index j of the reservoir is not replaced at this step in n divided by n plus 1 cases. The replacement happens only when the random number generated is exactly j, with a probability of 1 divided by n plus 1. The same index j had a k divided by n chance up until now of being here. After processing the last element, the updated probability is k divided by n plus 1. Concerning the new element, the algorithm guarantees that we include it with probability k divided by n plus 1. We have shown that the probability that a new input enters the reservoir is equal to that of an existing one remaining in it. By the principle of mathematical induction, we conclude that the algorithm does indeed produce a uniform random sample of the inputs. For this problem, it is elusive what we want to check. Since we expect uniform random distributions, we have no definitive way of checking that we achieved this, but we can implement the code and look at the case of a plane with 20 seeds. We simulate samplings for 20, 30 and 40 passengers, respectively. If we plot the relative selection frequencies of each stream index, we can see that they are all close in value and gravitate around the theoretical expected probability. Thanks for watching and thank you to our Patreons. If you want to support us in making more videos, head to our Patreon page. If you enjoyed this and would love to see more, like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the alarm bell to get a notification when new videos are released. Leave any comments about this problem below or on the problems dedicated webpage. For more info, please check the description box below. See you next time!